Hello everybody and welcome again to Goth's Let's Play. This is episode 5 of Let's Play Super Mario 64. I'm joined again with Bluefins. Good times to be had. <laughs> Took you long enough. And the song that you hear in the background is the single by BT with Artie. And the singer is Nadia Ali called this, or Must Be the Love. Almost did that wrong. Must Be the Love and this is the Shogun remix. If you don't know, Shogun is a really awesome trans DJ in California. He has some pretty amazing shit out there. Oh, this is the... This, yeah. Okay, that's not it. Bitch. Okay, that's not it. So it's gotta be this one. There we go. I kind of remember this one. Where are the... Oh, they're probably on here, aren't they? Ow. I think there were two stars that you can get on this one, weren't there? Like, one if you beat... Or one if you just complete the slide all the way down. And then another one if you beat a certain time. I don't remember. I think so. I'm pretty sure there's another star. Are you supposed to figure out what time it is, or...? I'm not quite sure. You, you gotta get a little bit louder. Your microphone seems kinda quiet right now. Eat your microphone. No. Yes. Maybe. Okay. You've recovered 30 power stars. Now you can open the door with a big star. Blah, 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 blah. I don't give a fuck. It's just telling me you can fight Bowser now. No. Mario. There's an area that you can jump down at. And it'll shorten your time by like 10 seconds. You're full of it. No, there was. If I remember right, there was. I just don't remember where that fucking jump is. It probably Witchcraft. Right. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> 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 At least it doesn't kill nope. off one of your guys, so that's always good. I can keep trying it over and over until I fucking get it. It's only a one star door. Yep. Why don't you read the signs? <laughs> the signs? I don't like- Maybe I don't know how to- I'll tell you. I- no, I explained this in the previous video, I don't know how to read. Oh shit, that's where it was! Damn it. Okay. I know. I know how to do it now. You guys should just fast forward to five tries later. <laughs> Probably. Damn it! Not far enough. Fuck! It's a pain in the ass. I remember actually having to do this quite a few times. No. I can do it. I can fucking do it. I'm going it's to fucking do it. Interesting carpet choice there. Yeah, just a bit. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> then I did a little kick at the end. <laughs> Whoa! <Ooh. laughs> Damn it, Mario. I swear to God, he's gonna get brain damaged by the end of this. He's gonna save the princess and he's gonna be all drooling all over himself and shit. She's gonna try to give him a kiss and he's gonna be like, Nah. <laughs> be like, it's all those mushrooms, isn't it? Oh, I go. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sup now, bitch? See, twenty exactly. I think that's what you had wow. to beat. It was twenty. You beat your time by like one second, though. Yeah, yeah. But you had to beat like twenty seconds, if I remember. Which right, is so. incredible, because you jumped down. Yeah, and I caught onto the edge, and I still fucking made it. That cost me like. 
three seconds right there now. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. That you was pretty amazing. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna fucking make it. <laughs> yeah, because it's like when I do time trials on Mirror's Edge, I'm always like two one thousandths of a second. Yeah. Or so. Remember the exact ghost it was? Yep. What what I always hated this level. Oh, this is the one where I had to kill off all the ghosts inside the house. I think. Oh, Mario. Can I oh I can't reach it up there. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh shit! Okay. Oh, right. that ghost is blushing. What's up, bitch? Oh. Ghosts don't die. Holy shit, you can read? Only their souls. Dude, if you can read, you're gonna have to read for me. Because I don't know how to read. I'll read for you. I can do that. Fuck you. <laughs> Ghosts don't die. Can you get out of here alive? I think it's just gonna repeat that shit over and over. Yeah, it just says the same thing. <laughs> Wrong way. Look at me! No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. As long as they fucking stop to look at you. Fire bad. There's too many doors. That is very true. on something different. Now I can go against the big dude. Oh, I forgot that the big dude spawned here. <laughs> it's the same sound as the swamp. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I saw something interesting the other day. What? You know how Walmart always has the latest and greatest animated movie playing? Like on the TV shit? Yep. Yeah. I saw one playing and I didn't recognize it at all. What do you think it might be? Something that didn't come out yet. I don't know but what you want they, me to say. You can't do that, because it has to be something that's at least out on DVD, right? Probably. And I tried looking it up, but I couldn't find it. It's not Paranorman. I really need to watch that. It's something similar, though. The only thing I have to go off of is it's some black haired looking teenager. Frankenweenie? Because that one came out on video recently, I believe. Frankenweenie? Yeah, that's the one. It's in black and white, and, uh. No, this was in color. Well, I don't know if it's all in black and white, but the previews that I saw for it, it was in black and white. But it's 3D film. I think Tim Burton does it, obviously. Yep. Uh, 
can't remember. I think he brings his dog back from the dead. So it's like a kid's version of Pet Cemetery minus the death. And the cemetery. Okay. Yeah, that's totally not it, though. I've seen that, though. Good guess. How would you find something like that, though? Like, latest... I'm just IMDB, I guess. How the fuck did I miss you? Bitch. Well, how'd you get in that cage? You have to kill the ghost? Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. How to Train Your Dragon 3 is supposed to be out 2016. Secret of the Haunted Books. Is it? Okay, I know that there's a library. I can't remember. Oh, excuse me. I can't remember. Um, books. I think books appear, and you have to hit them in a certain order. Yeah, flying books. No, not flying books. Just regular books. It's in a really tight Our little flying books uh, corridor. It's not on the first floor, so it has to be on the second. What's up, bitch? Oh, this isn't it. This is the coffin room. That's not it. Where the fuck is it? There we go. Ow! Ow! Fuck you! I think this is it. Uh. Yeah, you have to hit him in the right, right two, order. Three, one. <laughs> I remembered! That's very depressing. Nerd. That's very depressing. Do you ever see Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? Yeah, I like that one. I like that one too. My Neighbor Totoro? That's a good anime. What? That's a good anime. Movie. Is that a series or a movie? No, it's a movie. It's a Studio Ghibli movie. Studio what? Ghibli. 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 Whatever. I don't know. The little Ghibli bits. <laughs> what? The Studio Ghibli bit movie. Oh, Akira. We read that. The manga, yeah. I remember you telling me that you read that. There's like six volumes of it, though. Yeah. It's a decent sized manga. It's a good series. I fucking love it. It was good. I didn't read the whole thing. Before. What? Maybe I should. You should. It's really awesome. Well, maybe my tablet thing works out. What about the stupid ghost in the shell thing? Hey, don't you ever call that shit stupid in front of me. Did I that fucking love that series. on Adult Swim, or was it just featured on Adult Swim? It was featured on Adult Swim. It was first a movie. A movie? Yeah, it was it first was a an series, animated though. movie. No. Well, yeah, they did have a series. This is what I'm trying to explain, the, the timeline. <laughs> first, there was a movie, and then they ended up making a second movie. or it, Either it was a second movie or like a remake of the second movie, and then the series came out. The Standalone Complex, which was the first season. The first season was called that? Yeah, or? the first season was called Standalone Complex. So what's the or maybe Or maybe the complex. second one is also called Standalone Complex. I can't fucking remember. I remember The Laughing Man was on the first season. That was the entire thing, was The Laughing Man case. And then the is second that season to, uh, was God the... God Complex? Kind of. And then the second series or second season was uh, about the a group of people called the Individual Eleven. I think that's what they were called. Bitch, I hate this because it's not like a song where you can just like bring up an app that'll listen to it for you. Unless you got a name or something, it's hard to find a movie. Why? What are you looking for? This movie I saw playing. Oh. But if you go to IMDb, I'm sure that you can search by, like, type of movie. Like, kids movie, 3D film, shit like that. Oh, 
fuck, I already went in there. I totally just kicked myself across a fucking gap. Another, yeah, there's another one. Hey, maybe if I just do it this way. Oh, damn, damn it, Mario. Ball kick, damn it, damn it, Mario. You're cheating. That's how you're supposed to get up there. Due to that little section that's yeah, I parallel. Do it that way. It doesn't really look all that parallel. Really? Yeah. On the side closest to the wall? There you go. Okay. I'm smart. It's not Hotel Trans Transylvania. It's not Frankenweenie. It's not I need to Frank watch that one too. It's not Wreck It Ralph. Maybe there's a red coin out here. Whoa, sweet baby Jesus. Forgot about you. I'm gonna leave you alone. There's one. Oh, that one's not out yet. Which one? Epic. Epic? Yeah, I've seen advertisements for that one. It's an upcoming 3D movie about a teenager that finds herself transported into a deep forest setting where a battle between the forces of good and the forces of evil is taking place. And it's oh, and the sequel to um, Monsters, Inc. will be out this year, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Monsters University. I'm not looking forward to that. Really not. door that I forgot existed. I think there's a coin underneath where the piano is here. Have you heard of Howl's Moving Castle? I fucking love that one. That one's my favorite out of that entire studio. Who did that? That was a Hayao Miyazaki film. Studio Jib Ghibli Bits. Jiggly bits. I'm gonna call them Jiggly bits. Jiggly bits now. Studio Jiggly bits. That's not a thing. I like Studio Jiggly bits. Seriously, where the fuck are the coins at? I don't get it. I think I'll just have to take a video of the movie playing be like tell me what this is or no I'll just I'll find the DVD player that this playing on just eject it yeah, that's a good idea but the DVDs are is usually that how in the they back. do it I think that's how they usually do it they're usually in the back rooms though no yeah because no. it's all from one video source that way you Typically can tell at the one I worked at have I used to work at it was just playing in a DVD player. A single one, yes. Not multiple ones or anything like that. Bitch! So did Elijah Wood play the main character in Happy Feet? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he must, because he's in the sequel. There was a sequel. Well, it's gonna be out. Oh God, no! Not terrible music. It's gonna be out. Anything but that, please. Oh, it already came out. Oh, thank God. 
even more <laughs> terrible music. <laughs> Two years ago. Oh, shit. 2011. <laughs> what the fuck was I? Maybe a year and a half. I think that was the year I spoke myself retarded. I still haven't seen that Robots movie. Robots movie. Oh. Oh, yeah, That's old yeah. And, uh, I need to watch that one, too, actually. Let's do it. How? I don't, I'm okay. not going to fucking download it. Fuck that. What? You will. No, I won't. I'm gonna try to go for the hundred ring or hundred coins now. Might as well while I'm doing the eight red coin bullshit. This is as confusing as that Jewish chair game. <laughs> what? Did he that say that they do at bar mitzvahs? Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Did you say Jewish chair game? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so wait, which well, star oh, was this? This is the 100 coin one. Really? Yeah. Good job. And now I gotta find the other red coin that I still can't find. <laughs> Multitasking. Yep. Well, this level's pretty big, yeah. I don't remember where the other one is, though. You might have to help me out again. Oh, jeez. Serious, I can't remember. For Sears? For Sears. What are we listening to right now? This, if I remember right, is uh, called Free by DJ Shah, and the vocalist is. Oh god. Don't tell me. Oh god. It's the dude who does Going Wrong by Armin Van Buren. What's his name? It's not Richard Bedford, is no. it? No. God, no. No. <laughs> I can't hear it loud enough. Well, I'd love to see some Richard Bedford. It's not Richard Bedford. It's, uh... You need to fe feature him. Well, I'm gonna have it typed up. I know that. But I need an episode dedicated to, to Richard, Richard Bedford. <laughs> All the songs that he does vocals for. Yep. Sun and Moon. I can Let's do, do it. I could do it. I don't know, actually. I don't have that many songs with him as a vocalist now that I think about it. Is he mainly he on Above and Beyond? Pretty much? Exclusively? Not ex... Uh, well, maybe. I think I might have heard him in a couple other artist uh, tracks, but I don't remember who. This is something I would actually have to use Discogs for. Okay, so you got the one on top of the bookcase, or the two on top of the bookcases. Oh, no, I didn't. I only got the one. I didn't know that there was another. <laughs> is that the last one? Yeah, that was the last one. Oh, is it in the ceiling? No. Oh, okay. Second floor? Yeah. I said it as you found it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job. Uh, I feel amazing. Hey, this time I'm not fucking fast forwarding. <laughs> I might just fast forward through some of the bullshit. What do you got? One more? Two more? Uh, two more. Alright. Okay, boo. this is the one where I killed a big boo that was up, up there. Big boo snatch. Ew. Ew. <laughs> no. I said snatch. Yeah, ew. No. Like snatch the stuff. No. No, we are not talking about a ghost vagina. <laughs> I am I am gay, sir. For I do not like vaginas. <laughs> no, it could be a vagina. Wait, this isn't it? Fuck! Where's the other book area with non-flying books and... God damn it. Go to the room with the deadly piano. It's probably... no, not in there. It's on the second floor. I get fucking lost in this goddamn place all the fucking time. There's too many doors. There we go.
Fuzzy navel. That's a gay drink. What's in it? Uh, fucking orange juice and peach sh uh, schnapps, I believe. Not quite as similar as when you get lint stuck in your belly button. Not the same. Definitely tastes different. I feel like you already no! did a big boo once. I did three times now. Well, two times now. Now it's going to be three. Is this mansion an exact replica of the one featured in Luigi's Mansion? No. It would be neat if it was. What sucks about this part, though, is that you you can only stay out here. If you go back inside, it fucking restarts. It Fuck enlarges. You. And it's really hard to get around the fucker when he's gigantic. God damn! And he turns like a fucking Ferrari. And then he pulsates. Shit. And you don't want to fucking fall down. You're a pain in the ass. <laughs> he loves you. Oh, you fucking... Cockstein! <laughs> I did it. <laughs> what? I did it. I'm probably gonna die if I... Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I tried to, I tried to hit, fuck, hit the... You dove at him. I tried to hit the Z button as soon as it was gonna go back tomorrow, but it was fucking too late. I fucking had him. I fucking had him. But you didn't. I didn't because I didn't fucking recognize the button press. Did you call a ghost a cockstick? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> I'm not sure. It looks like a cock stain. I'm not even sure what that is. You don't know what a cock stain is? No. Maybe I'll give you a cock stain if you want it. Intriguing. It's like something that all the white all the white kids do. It's a cock stain. You want a cock stain? I gotta show you that fucking movie. Because you, you're not getting these references and it's fucking hilarious. We already watched... Clerks. Yeah, you, you just gotta watch the second one now. Oh shit. I'm scratching my nose and didn't give me enough time to fucking scratch my nose. My nose itches and... Ah! Scratching your snatch. <laughs> no! Ew. <laughs> Ew! 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 Frickin For being another gay person, you should Snatch know. Juices. No, no. Why are Why are you talking about this? Why are you talking about vagina? Because you brought up fuzzy navel. But that's not. That's not a vagina. <laughs> I just fucking did it again. But this time I had health. I just gotta kill some ghosts and get my shit back up. Mario. Mario! Fucking Mario. Get up there. Hey, no, get up. Thank you. Was Did it, it go door? on top of the mansion? Oh, not that door. Yeah. How are you supposed to get up there? I'll show you. It's very easy, actually. Mario! Stop. Mario! Punch him in the snatch. I fucking would. I would. I would... I would punch him in the dick so hard that it would turn into a snatch, and then I'd punch him again. His man snatch. His asshole? You want me to fist his asshole? <laughs> would you? No! He's a... <laughs> he looks like a little chubby, fat, hairy Italian dude. And he's probably sweaty as fuck. That's not fun. That could be fun. If you're into that weird shit. Oh, camera angle. Oh, camera angle. Oh, camera angle. Oh, you're breaking my balls. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, no. People are probably listening to me in my Let's Plays and just going, Ah, oh, that fucking faggot. 
Who brought up <laughs> fisting Italian plumbers? <laughs> Up there, Mario. It's not that hard. Mark, fucking. Mm. Thank no, don't do that shit again. I think I just did two long jumps. Hey. Oh, what's this? One up, one up, one up, one up. Yep. I remembered. It's sad that I'm remembering quite a few things. I'm usually really bad with my memory. He does a backhanded peace sign. That's offensive to people over in Europe. Well, it's kind of hard to tell which is his front and which is his back. Because it all looks the same. Oh wait, no, maybe I have that backwards. If you do it from the front, it's offensive. That's why they had to change the cover of Left 4 Dead 2. I thought they changed it in Europe to be front hand instead of backhand. Because in backhand, it in Europe, it means like fuck off. Let, let, let me confirm this. Because in America, it's backhand. I believe you're right. Exactly. I know my European. Uh, it is backhand. Eye to eye in the secret room. I can't do this UK one. The UK version of the box art shows the back of the hand facing away to avoid offense because UK people are weird. Yeah, because it means fuck off. You know what? That's what a middle finger means. Let's keep it universal, people. <laughs> I think it essentially is universal. Oh, no, I take that back because I've seen pictures of people in Japan, like school kids doing the middle finger with like teachers and shit around and seeing it. So it's not like they know what it is, obviously. It's not as vulgar? I don't know. Because that wouldn't fly over here. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Okay, so that was... Okay, I guess all I have left to do now is just fucking go for Bowser, because I can't do that. What do you need for that last one? I need the Vanishing Cap, which you don't get until... Which you also third, need for... The no, you need the, the green game. one for Booty Bay. Is the Vanishing one a blue yeah, one? Yeah, Vanishing is blue. Well, Where do I, you get that? Uh, I think it's the third act of the game, somewhere when you unlock the upstairs area. Picky, picky. Yeah. So, anyways, this, that's the end of this episode. I hope you all enjoyed our homosexual talk. <laughs> Talking about fisting and Crisco and shit. Sorry about that. Uh, eh, fuck it. Be a man. They can handle it. And I'll be back in the next episode, which is going to be posted up this day. Take care. Peace. He's the size of a child. He probably only weighs like 60 pounds. That he, that can't be the size of a child because the adults in this game are the size of a fucking child. Princess Peach is the size of a fucking child. You only see her like once. Yeah, and they're all the same height. I guess I don't remember what she looks like. She looks like a bitch. That doesn't put out. That's why he's gotta go save her. Even, but that's what I mean. Even at the end of saving her, she just like, fuck you, Mario. You ain't getting my pussy. She's Princess a cunt. Princess is in another castle. She's a goddamn cunt. Well, screw you. I'm taking your Terry. Exactly. <laughs> fuck that bitch. <laughs> that's mean. It's true, though. <laughs>